Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Minute. This week we're here with our friend Blair. Uh, Christine is uh, busy preparing for a big important meeting at her other job tomorrow, and so we're left with the important work of telling you about new comics. Uh, Nick, what have you been reading this week? Well, what I'm... <laughs> what, what are you excited to read this week? <laughs> this is the first take, everybody. What I'm gonna read this coming week, tomorrow, <laughs> includes Frontiersman number two, uh, this is by Patrick Kindlin of uh, Self Defense Family and some other great bands. Um, uh, this is like a sort of a superhero getting pulled out of retirement, and he's been uh, just kind of living a reclusive life for a while. That first issue, he gets pulled back for one more job, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, Quite looking cool. forward to issue two. Uh, then we have a new series from Vault, uh, The Rush, also known as The Hungry Earth. Reddens under snow-clad hills, which is uh, just quite the title. This is some sort of, uh, you know, uh, late uh, 19th century uh, Western tale with some, I don't know, kind of like steampunk horror elements or some kind of mechanical spider. Who's it by? Oh, that's by Cy Spurrier. Oh, Cy awesome. Spurrier fame. Um, <laughs> then we've got uh, a thing called Truth. Um, which I'm excited to do, give a read. It is uh, called uh, the the previews called it a a sort of uh, uproarious uh, LGBT road trip. So huh. sounds fun. We've got a new one by Chip Zdarsky. This is called New Burn. Uh, looks like some kind of good kind of hard boiled detective story. Um, which I feel like will be a good fit for for Chip Zdarsky's very you know sharp sharp writing uh we have a stranger things winter special so if you're waiting on the new season to come out maybe give winter. the winter special a, yeah. a read i am excited for more stranger things. yeah the final season the we've final. got primordial number two jeff lemire one of his new books uh this book is so good it's it's basically what if uh Laika and the the monkeys shot up into space uh did not die but they are still up there doing Oh, wow. stuff um so this is just issue two um so be interested to see where that goes and then we've got a new one by tom king for dc black label uh human target um looks like sort of a james bond kind of uh story here um so i think if you've been liking strange adventures by tom king you, you may like this one as well and then also we have king uh by hochi anderson this is a um, a biography of Martin Luther King Jr. And flipping through this, the art in this is is really beautiful. Lots of uh, different art styles in here. So lot lots to look forward to for me this yeah, week. Yeah, it's a big pile. Yeah. Uh, Blair, how about you? Oh sure, yeah, I can go. Um, yeah, uh, picked up a much smaller stack, but substantial. Uh, got JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Five. Uh, here he go, Rocky everybody's favorite uh fashion fanatic mm -hmm. doing his very interesting and weird manga that we all love um how long has he been doing this oh i don't Since even know decades yeah something? decades yeah, okay. decades um yeah this is this part's about giorno my favorite protagonist probably from the jojo franchise him climbing the ranks of the italian mafia so what could be better than Tell that all this time yeah absolutely <laughs> um we got godzilla king Mon or sorry world of monsters um he nice. is the king of the monsters after all uh, some really great like double page spreads of him fighting like all the classic Godzilla oh, villains. Godzilla and, book. Yes. Yeah, it's just gorgeous art. Looks really fun. I'm excited to pick it up. Nice. And then uh, Upgrade Soul, very striking cover, which is what drew me to it. Uh, flip through it, really great art in here. Looks like a very interesting story. Kind of like got some like weird sci-fi body horror type elements in it, which should be a good time. The yeah. cover, <laughs> the cover looks like it's like from Zardoz or something. Yeah, yeah, it's really surreal. It's great stuff. Hey, that's nice. all I got. Cool. Nice. All right. Uh, this week, I'm excited for a bunch of stuff. So uh, if you're not ready for uh, the Halloween season to be over, um, uh, Epic Dark is a horror anthology uh, with a bunch of great writers. Uh, we've got Colin Bunn, Jim Starlin, Frank Keery, uh, Joe Pruitt, Cliff Richards, um, a couple other people. But uh, yeah, it's a cool prestige format Aftershock book. Um, this I have not checked out yet, and it's not a creative team I'm super familiar with, but Knighted, it is a superhero book set in the AWA's um, 
expanded universe that they're putting together, um, which is kind of like crafted out of uh, the events of J. Michael Straczynski's Resistance, which everyone should read Resistance, Resistance Uprising, and Moths. Uh, Telepaths I haven't gotten to yet, but I'm sure that's great also. Um, but yeah, so a like superhero story set in that world is, is pretty interesting. Um, the Heathens, which is a somehow contemporary but also pirates horror thing by Colin Bunn. Mm -hmm. If you have been into like Basilisk and stuff like that, I think this is going to be something that's up your alley. Um, Dark Knights of Steel. Um, so I had reached a point where I think I was like after 1602, I was like, I don't really ever think anybody's going to be able to do superheroes back in time in a way that doesn't make me like cringe because uh, mm -hmm. 1602 is just so good mm -hmm. um, at the way it sets that all up. Uh, and if you told me, hey, what about medieval Batman? I think I would be like, I'm not going to read that book. And then you told me Tom Taylor's writing it and that also it's gotten like widely, uh, you know, attributed acclaim from the likes of Scott Snyder and every other great writer out there today. Uh, I guess I have to read it now. And it turns out it looks awesome, which I was not expecting. Uh, and then we have... The, What's that one called? Dark. That's called Dark Knights of Steel. Knights spelled uh, <laughs> K-N-I-G-H-T-S. The first time that's really made sense uh, <laughs> right. in Batman's tenure. He's got a sword. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like a knight. Like a, like a dark knight. Mm -hmm. um, it adds a word that they can now use in Batman titles, which is steel. <laughs> that's a new one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, anyways... Uh, Batman, Superman, Authority, coming close on the heels of Superman Authority. Now it's got Batman. Uh, I loved Superman the Authority by Grant Morrison, one of my favorite uh, miniseries that's come out re recently. And then finally, book one, Friday, the first day of Christmas, it's an Ed Brubaker book. Uh, Eisner Award winner for Best Digital Comic, now collected in a physical form. Uh, you should yes. definitely read this. It's good. It's for, well, if you like Ed Brubaker, you know you, know you like Ed Brubaker. If you don't, uh, this is a very interesting indie book. Uh, it's hard to talk about without giving too much away, so I'm just going to say you should look up information about it. It's really good. Did you flip through and the art looked great? So yeah. I'm excited. There's a murder, because Ed Brubaker. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, it's the first day of Christmas. Yep. No more than you. All right. Well... well. Next week, hopefully, we'll have Christine back to keep this show on the, on the rails. Um, I did my best. I, mean, you, hey, I don't think there's any fault with uh, with your contribution to it. That's uh, thanks. It's nice it. to yeah. nice to have more discussion about manga on the, the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show. this program. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, let us know week. what books you're looking forward to, and we'll see you next time here. Yeah. Check it out.